Welcome! Gotta love it when an OS welcomes me after doing a fresh install. That's right, kids. It has been ages since I've looked at Fedora. And today I'm looking at uh, the future of Fedora with their version 29 workstation. And this is in beta. As I did in yesterday's Ubuntu video, basically uh, I did a fresh install and then turned on the recorder as soon as I booted into the operating system for the first time so that you can experience this wonderful OS the same time that I do. So it looks like uh, we got a nice little welcome screen. We'll click next and then it gives us some information on privacy. Okay, you can um, enable or disable location services or automatic uh, problem reporting. All right, and then it wants to surrender your privacy by connecting your Google, your Microsoft, and your Facebook accounts. Luckily, I don't have it. Well, I have a Google account, but um, yeah, I really don't use it that much, so we'll just go ahead and skip that. And the installer did not ask me for my name, nor set up an account, so... It's going through the process of doing that now, and it looks like they have an option for setting up Enterprise. We're doing this from a desktop standpoint, so... I'm not going with all that other fancy stuff. Okay, so now we're ready to start using Fedora. Okay, very nice, and now we're greeted with a getting started screen for those people who have never used uh, GNOME. Okay, and it looks like uh, launch an application switching tasks. Okay, so they've got, it looks like this is like a, wow, they got a little built-in video presentation that shows you um, just how to do that. Okay, so they show you to um, just move your mouse cursor over the activities. Okay. All right, well, nifty. All right, good deal, good deal. All right, and, and it gives you some options for changing wallpapers, themes, and that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, is there an extra? Well, these arrows don't do anything. Okay. We've got bookmarks. Search the menu. Okay. All right. Well, we've looked at getting started. I'm happy with that. You can access your settings right here by uh, clicking these I this icon group here and uh, clicking on the settings. By the way, um, as with the GNOME desktop, you can also lock your screen, uh, log out of your session, that sort of thing. Change your, uh, your um, preferences for uh, power setting and your network volume control as well. So you have all of that with this handy little interface here where you can... Um, you know, change your background. Looks like they only... I wonder if they have any extras in here. Okay. Looks like they've got a selection of uh, backgrounds to choose from. You can uh, also define pictures or specific colors if that's what you want. Why don't we go with a color? Why not? Just K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simple. Notification settings... You can adjust, and it uh, doesn't, doesn't look like this one has as many as uh, the Ubuntu did yesterday that we were looking at. Um, search options, your uh, language preferences, universal access. Um, maybe if you need that high contrast theme, that is available to you as well. Change your uh, fonts and that sort of thing. And uh, other goodies are thrown in here, such as uh, changing your dated time add new users, or defining your default applications. All done from the One Settings panel right here. Pretty neat stuff. Okay, and uh, when we click Activities, then we have um, uh, a number of things that we can do here, all right? 
you uh, have a quick launch to Firefox uh, Evolution for Mail, uh, Rhythmbox for managing your music, uh, Nautilus for files, and then they have their own uh, software center. Let's take a quick look at this. I'm interested to see if this uh, has a similar look and feel to the Ubuntu one, and it does. Uh, it looks very similar. similar. Uh, I'm not sure what they called this uh, installer, but uh, I know the Ubuntu one is called Snaps Software Center, and I, this could very well be the same thing. Um, we have an option to enable third-party repositories. Why not? Um, all right, and it looks like... Uh, this gives you a list of everything that's installed here, so if there's something that this came with that you don't want, you can remove them and swap it out for something you want. So this is a nice, convenient user interface. and also gives you a list of all the updates that need uh, to go on the system. It's running through the process of checking, and then it will list them here. Um, as stated, I just did a fresh install, and I didn't bother to um, run any updates or anything on this why don't we look at some other things here all right we've got um the show applications here and pretty much this is all you get there isn't a whole lot of applications on top of this and that's probably a good idea because uh, many of you just want a nice little base system that you can build on top of for those of you who want to uh, play with virtual machines gnome boxes is included with this and uh, i happen to like gnome boxes uh, i think it's pretty neat uh, and if I'm not mistaken, I think it is a front end for QMU. All right, um, calculator, calendar, the cheese webcam booth, clocks, contacts, a document viewer, um, pretty much everything you need uh, for your everyday tasks here. And like I said, there isn't a whole lot. So you get a web browser, uh, you get a, the LibreOffice suite, handful of utilities like your uh, file roller, you know, a character map, your fonts, and the system monitor, and some other things like that. Um, I'm interested in knowing if this did the same thing that Ubuntu did yesterday, where um, I'll type in uh, the name of a package, and it'll offer me some selections to install. So let's say I want to... Um, play Tux Racer. Okay, and it did give me some suggestions. So um, it gave me the option to install, uh, you know, uh, Super Tux Cart, that sort of thing. Excellent. Maybe I want to do some audio editing. All right, and it looks like um, in typing in Audacity, it gave me two choices, Audacious and Audacity. So, pretty good stuff. So, it looks like Gnome Shell's got some nice little polish added to this. All right. You can also add additional desktops if you need them. Something I forgot to do. On a fresh boot. Um, I'm interested in knowing how much RAM this is using up. All right, this is saying this uh, OS is using 954 megs of RAM, so this is using quite a bit more um, than we saw uh, Ubuntu using. Um, so there may be some additional resources that are running that um, I can't see at present. Um, but, I mean, you can go into your startup settings and you can actually remove some stuff uh, so that this is using uh, less uh, resources if you want to. So at any rate, that's the latest Fedora 29 workstation beta. And uh, I think it's a nice looking desktop. I know the GNOME developers have been working very hard to streamline uh, their desktop. And it is looking good. Just not something I would use on a day-to-day -day basis. But if you think this is something that you would like to use... Um, Click the link in the description, download this, and give it a try. I'm sure it'll be well worth your time. Uh, Fedora has a solid uh, community behind it, and uh, you can get support for this. And, uh, you know, this can be used as an enterprise-level distribution. So for small business owners, uh, this might fit you like a glove. That's all I have on this for now.
I'm not sure what I'm going to be covering next on Couple Linux, but I'm sure I'll have something equally exciting. So until next time, peace out. Mm -hmm.